Hello everyone, we are back again on another episode of Hotline Topic, where we give you the best entertainment news in Nigeria. Today, we are discussing the life of Shotoi of Shobola. Have you seen the awesome Yoruba movies featuring a gorgeous actress? Let us look at the life of Shotoi of Shobola and learn curious things from our past and our present. This lady is very talented, beautiful and has many achievements. We are sure that millions of Nigerians will be happy to discover interesting facts about her and watch some of her movies. Taya Shobola's curious nickname is Shota Yogaga. The famous actress is also an impressive dancer, screenwriter, producer, and former model. She is popularly known for Arewa Onijodbo, a 2012 Yoruba movie. What was Shota Yogaga's early life like? Taya Shobola was born in a polygamous family and her parents also supported different religions. Taya's mother, Alaje Bakari, was a Muslim, while her late father was a Christian. Taya was born on December 28, 1985. She would be 34 years old in December 2019. According to her, growing up was challenging. Her mother, a disciplinarian, prevented her from socializing with family and friends. It was amazing how she was able to end up an extrovert, combing cities and shooting movies. Prior to settling fully as an actress, she was a TV presenter, anchor person and a model. In her early years, she desired to be a lawyer. Things turned when she participated in a dramatic and debating group in school and she discovered her penchant for movies and stage plays. Let's talk about her career and her education. As mentioned earlier, Ty started her career in show business as a model, then a video vixen in musical videos. She was also a presenter. Jota Gaga attended Hope Bay College, Lagos for her secondary education and proceeded to Olabisi on Obanjo University where she got a degree in public administration and a diploma in law from Lagos State University. While Taya was still studying Lagos State University, she met actor Emeka Okoro who introduced her to Actors Guild of Nigeria. While the journey to fame wasn't easy and quick, Taya had to spend days and nights hoping to get a role before she was finally noticed and became popular. She featured in the movie Jackie Phillips. This was a debut movie. She joined the Yoruba movie industry when a movie producer, Yinka Sam Aino, called her to take up a lead role in the Yoruba movie. Her Yoruba was not fluent as her English, but she did it anyway. Her mother was not cool with it, but it went well and she was commended for her performance. For her incredible roles, she received many impressive awards. Her breakout movies are Arewa Onijodbo, Kopa Jide, and Bella. It is believed that Tayo Shobola's production studio that is located in Lagos cost several millions of naira. She has featured in a lot of movies including Ida KG Fair, Logo Biri, Egon, Jara, Jackie Phillips, Eton, Ayekaye, Kopajide, Bella, Bado, Okwashewo, Iyabose, Arewa Onijodbo, and many others. In 2016, Taya Shobola launched her company, Shoti Entertainment. The company offers PR and advert related services, photography, video editing, and also online shopping of quality materials. The movie star also delved into fashion and makeup line, adding to a chain of lucrative businesses. In January 2017, the beautiful actress opened up about her personality relationship and career in an interview with the son on the opinion that people don't see her as friendly she said why do people see me that way i don't understand why people see me like that i'm just me i can be funny at times if you know me well you would know shota your place a lot i relate with everybody well i might not wear that look most times however people look at me from afar and draw conclusions but i'm just like this most times i don't even remember i do movies when asked about her engagement she said then i'm engaged and that is all you need to know for now. And what is the definition of love? I don't know anything called love. I just know it is in the dictionary. There's no love anywhere. Love is L-O-V-E. That's all I know. The interviewer proceeded to ask her, in that case, what was your attraction to him? The then fiancé. And I replied, I beg, leave that thing. Then they sell ring now. If the man misbehaves, you sell the ring, chop the money and walk away. Ladies should stop receiving cheap rings. Receive the one you can sell when the man messes up. Well, Taya is now married, even though she conceals his identity, but people have specifically stated that she's married to Kaya De Peters. To describe herself in a nutshell, who is Taya? Taya says, this is just me. I'm in my early 30s and I'm from Ogun State. Everything about me is out there. I'm just a very free-spirited person. Also, in the September 2018 interview with Pond Sunday School, the actress admitted that she's aware that certain people think she's wild and a bad influence. She said she knew she could appear crazy, but she was a calm person. Shobala stated, I can appear like someone that is crazy, but my inner self speaks for me. People should stop judging a book by its cover. When you see a book, the right thing is to open it before making a conclusion. If you see crazy headlines about me, bloggers just want to attract readers to their blogs. When you open it, you will see something else. I'm not a bad person. According to the new ambassador of Glee Hair, 
She's in love with colored hair as she likes to try different things. She stated, I'm not scared of doing new things. Colored hair looks good on me most times, though I know it can make one look weird. But if you are bold enough as a man, I expect you to approach me even when I wear a colored hair. Speaking on the words of her endorsement, she said, it was worth millions of naira and would last for a year. I cannot disclose the figure, but it is worth millions of naira and it is valid for a year. When I was contacted to be a brand ambassador of the company, the CEO told me they settled for me because of my colorful personality. I have been seeing their products on social media and I like what I see. Apart from the money I got from the company, I admire the passion and determination of the CEO. I'm a woman and a go-getter, so I love it when I see hard-working women, she said. Controversies Taya Shobala has had her share of controversies. Shota was rumored to be having an affair with rapper Olamide. She was also alleged to have been seen with a famous senator, Ganyu Solomon, and M. Solomon in the past. In a chat with Encomium, she openly stated that nothing of relation existed in a friendship with the aforementioned icons in Nigeria. She also referred to Olamide as her brother, and the senator she described was like a father to her. According to her, she constantly meets Ensi Oluomo on trips and travels on her way to getting her mission accomplished. Taya Shobala's religion In a previous interview, the actress put the record straight, explaining where she stands regarding her faith. She said, I'm a Christian. I'm born by a Christian Catholic father and raised by a Muslim mother. My mom is an Alaja and my late dad is a Christian, she began. Talking about my kind of religion, I pray a lot when I'm alone. I don't think praying has to be with getting a microphone and coming out to say, hey, I'm praying, or trying to disturb your neighbor. You don't have to faint on the floor or say fire, fire for everybody to know you're praying. But honestly speaking, I do pray a lot. I don't know how to pray the Muslim prayer, but trust me, I'm very good when it comes to dressing up like an Elijah. I just pray the normal way, that's it. In May 2018, when Inside Nollywood asked how the man in her life copes with her seemingly busy schedule, Shogaga, as she is fondly called, assured that her relationship stands on a solid rock. According to her, the man in her life understands her personality. We have been able to manage my work schedule and we are still managing it, she assured. Dispelling the rumors that some rich and influential men are the source of a luxury lifestyle, she added, It is normal for people to say that it is men that give me money. Every successful woman hears people say things like that. Every hardworking woman hears that every time, but it is always good to turn a deaf ear to such side talks. I just focus on what I want to achieve. I do not listen to what anybody says and I don't let anyone distract me. Whoever makes such comments obviously does not work to earn their money. If you work hard, a man could be there to support you because nobody wants to give money to somebody whose source of income cannot be traced. I work for my money and I also get support from friends. I do not care about what people say, I just focus on my work. The Ogun State Born Thespian also noted that the only time she takes some rest is when she's outside the country. She stated, The truth is that I work a lot even though I do not look like someone that works. I feel that I look like someone that just sits in a corner and people bring money to me and then I spend it lavishly. That is how I look. I'm someone that can work for 3 weeks non-stop. I sleep at about 5 am and wake up 3 hours later. Okay, let's talk about Taya Shubala's awards and nominations. In 2015, she won City People's Entertainment Awards for Best New Yoruba Actress of the Year. I was also nominated in another category for Most Promising Actress of the Year. She was also honored as Best Fashionista Actress of the Year by Islanders International Magazine Achievers Awards in 2015. Also honored as Best Supporting Yoruba Actress by City People Entertainment Awards in 2016. She has also been honored with other numerous awards. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of Hotline Topics. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And we hope you have learned a lot about Tayashibola, Shota Yogaga. Until next time, remain blessed.